Hey guys, Center 69046 here, and I'm finally back with another episode of Christmas Crap. Um, it's been a while, unfortunately. I I know I said I would do this as a daily upload, but unfortunately I've just struggled with that. Um, it's hard to explain why. Um, <laughs> it's currently 3 a.m. as I record this right now, so if that'll give you any idea on how well I'm doing when it comes to a structured, organized schedule throughout the day... That should be a pretty decent hint, and probably explains why- I Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> I wanted to open that, bro. Man, I got one- Oh, I was like, I got one glowstone, are you kidding me? Okay. Um, yeah, so I just- It's been rough trying to keep an organized schedule for some reason or another, but I'm back with another episode. Hopefully I'll get a few more out for Christmas, too. But regardless, we still have plans, and we're gonna stick with them. So, uh, off camera, I did do a little bit of streaming, and of course, I did the terraforma work, terraforma, terraforming work that I said needed to be done for this build. So, we've got it right here, and this is just basically going to be the groundwork so that we can lay out our road, no problem. Isn't that right, Lucy? Uh, oh, I didn't realize the name tag also showed up. That's crazy. Uh, off camera, I also went caving. And I wasn't that successful, but I did find a few things, so I'll show a clip of that right now. Oh yeah. So it's really not a bad haul from caving. I would have liked a little bit more, but it is what it is, so... Fortunately, we didn't get very many diamonds, but 19 will have to work. Um, I only got 5 from that caving adventure, as you saw, but... We got 19 overall just from past playing in this world, and that's enough for a full set of tools, but fortunately it's a matter of getting the experience and full enchanting for that, and I haven't quite been able to do that yet. Uh, let's try and smelt that real quick. Did get enough iron, too. We've been needing the iron, so it's a good thing I was able to get some of these. Also, at the uh, comments of the last episode, someone said I should get a pig. And name it Jeffrey. So I got a pig. I got a name tag. Oh, I got a name tag. <laughs> We're ready to go. And bada bing, bada boom. Now we got our pet pig, Jeffrey. And we'll probably just keep him in the house here. And hope he doesn't AI jump into that fire. Isn't that right, Jeffrey? We're not going to do that. No. Right. Okay. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get to doing what we need to do for this episode. I think I actually prepared supplies for this, if I'm not the wrong. We'll have to see, though. Uh, it's been a while, as I, <laughs> as you guys have definitely noticed. But it is nonetheless ready to do this. Yes, here we go. This is where I did all the digging. Now I just got to remember how the layout of this went. That's going to be the hard part. Unfortunately, I've got to do more digging, don't I? Ah, oh, great. <laughs> Uh, how did the layout of this go? Um, we had that separate that. That was the road. Uh, yeah, it wasn't the road, just stone. Yeah, I think so. Did we do three wide on the road? I think we had to do four wide because of the stupid tree. Yeah, we did do four wide. So let's just get the first one down here, of course, as we always do. It's just the correct length, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, Lucy, you paying attention? You might have to be able to do this one day. Uh-huh, like this, like this. And... Bada-bing. Bada out of materials. Okay, there we go. <laughs> uh, we're gonna need quite a few of these, aren't we? Is that how, is that how we did it? Is that correct? <laughs> Guys... I think it's correct. We're going to double check, though. Would you look at that? I was wrong about something. Write it down, folks, because I am very rarely wrong, but uh, this is one of those times, I guess. It appears that uh, I left out a block of andesite on both sides. Can you believe it, dog? Okay. Also, quick, quick, quick acknowledgement. Acknowledgement? Whatever. Quick um, acknowledgement of an error on my part is I had the wrong mic hook up, hooked up for the first few clips. So I had my headset mic instead of my Blue Yeti. So if the quality sounds horrible, that is why. 
Uh, it should be fixed now, though, but, man, that's that's tough. We only do things to a professional standard around these parts, though, so uh, that's just one of those professional things is sometimes you accidentally just, just hook up the wrong microphone, you know? <laughs> it is what it is, though, so we're just going to roll with it and uh, not remake those f clips because, as I said, it's like 3 in the morning. So, yeah, we're going to stick with it. Um, I'm going to... Uh, put in some of this road so we can get an idea of what it's going to look like and then I'll show you all some progress move dog okay so this is how it looks so far um, first impressions are I kind of like it um, the transition from boardwalk to road is a little rough but uh, it's going to work I think though I think I like this I think it's going to work out nice once we extend it all the way out and there's, of course, buildings on the side. <laughs> I will note that this is a very narrow road. <laughs> it looks like, at least. Uh, yeah, I like it, though. I think we're going to go ahead and finish it till the end here, and I'll show you all what it looks like when it's done. So while I finish things up here, I thought I would just come in and do an actual commentary part of this video, since it's been a while since I've actually done some commentary, just talking type of thing, you know? And I uh, just basically wanted to talk about, like, since this is a Christmas series and it is the year 2020, I just wanted to talk about what Christmas is, like, looking like for everyone in 2020 because uh, all Christmases for most people, this is going to be the weirdest one unless you live somewhere where, like, freak weather could impact a Christmas. But for most people, you know, gathering with your family if you do celebrate Christmas that is which if you're watching this video you probably do I'd say I don't know I'm not gonna judge but uh yeah if you usually just meet with your family you probably either just do that in good conscience with zero worries and stuff like that or you know it's you know it's enjoyable you don't have to worry about anything but this year if you are meeting with your family some families aren't some are I've got 50-50 split personally from my side. I got one set of grandparents that is not and then I've got another side of the family that actually is so it's it's really weird how uh, it's a it's a first it's a decision based for people and you know on the one side of one side that we are having get well hello you really did uh, just walk right down the middle there and now you're gonna block it aren't you <laughs> oh why won't you hop back up there <laughs> But on the one side that we are meeting on, it's uh, it's a lot of stress because we've got a lot of elderly people that, of course, this virus, if it uh, if they got it, the results could be uh, unfortunately not great for them. Um, it's uh, that's just uh, the un that's just the reality of the situation. And then we've got another side to where, you know, you never know how many more Christmases you're gonna have with everyone there. You know, life happens. Heck, you could lose one. Uh, of any of them within the next year just from life <laughs> you know it's uh, something that happens it's an unfortunate reality but you know you don't know how many Christmases you're gonna have with those people and uh, now we're sacrificing one hoping you know that it's gonna pay off and result in way more Christmases or you know at least prevents hopefully the risk of not having many more Christmases because something bad would happen like the virus spreads to you know obviously the elderly people on that side and then you get a situation to where you know it's like man we shouldn't have met or on the other side we're like man I'm glad we did meet because life happens and that person's uh, not with us anymore or something like that so uh, it's really a weird 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 year like that in that uh, everyone's families has to make that decision and uh, balance out the pros and cons of the situation and uh, it's hard it really is to shut down Christmas or to at least face the risk and say yeah we're gonna have Christmas but yeah it's definitely been a wow what are the odds oh no the odds are horrible I didn't even have enough <laughs> oh that stuff but yeah it's definitely a weird weird year that's a tongue twister Oh, we're going to have to sleep, too. It's a weird year for that. I think everyone's probably going to remember this Christmas because of it. And uh, hopefully this is the only pandemic I experienced in my lifetime. Of course, the context for that entire conversation was how the pandemic will be affecting everyone's Christmas and what they do. But, yeah, it's uh, it's crazy. It really is. Man, I'm really going to need more stone. That's unfortunate. But yeah, I just want to talk about that. Uh, it's definitely a stressful, stressful year for everyone. And uh, hopefully we can all 
be nice <laughs> humans and cut each other some slack because of those situations and just remember that uh, we all make mistakes we're all probably acting in good conscience and uh, if we do mess up or something like that we should remember the uh, the effects of or the uh, outside influences of stuff like this and just hope and pray that everyone makes the right decisions and that it all works out even if they in your mind choose wrongly so yeah uh it's gonna be a rough rough christmas for many but hopefully like i said everyone still finds a way to have a merry christmas and uh finds their own ways to celebrate in ways that they uh usually do or ways that they see that fulfill their christmas spirit needs what i'm saying is you know it's a unique christmas it'll be one to remember uh tough times but well, well, there'll be better days. Everyone's going to be all right. So you just keep that in mind this holiday season that uh, this Christmas is, is pretty unique. But at the same time, it's still Christmas. So uh, celebrate it as you will, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely, definitely a weird, weird time. Okay, so the road is almost complete now. And uh, based on what I'm looking at, it's pretty short. <laughs> there will be a courthouse at the end, but... Man, that is short. We might have to make it longer. And I hate to do that, but... Man, is it short. <laughs> I don't know. It's pretty short. It's pretty short. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get some more stone, and then I'll finish it off and show you all the end results. Alrighty, so we've got it completely laid out, and I'm not going to lie, I think I like it. I think this is actually going to work out very well. Um... Yeah, it's it's a little short, like I said, but you know, the the worst that could come out of that is that we just have to extend it, and uh, that's just a little more terraforming. Ooh, floating snow. Maybe this will be like a a town feature. I thought you could go through this. Oh, well, apparently not. Lucy also likes the floating snow. <laughs> uh, man, that's so weird that that's a thing that happens in this game. But uh, yeah. So worst thing, worst case scenario. We will just extend it out, and it's not that big of a deal. It's kind of flat ground anyways, and we were planning on putting a courthouse at the end anyways. So it's really a matter of uh, what buildings we want to wear. Uh, really, I guess we could do that. We don't really have time to, uh, what do you call it, actually build any of the buildings right now. So, oh, we're going to need way more than that. Come on. There we go. Yeah. So, um... Yeah, let's just do a couple things here. Let's do like a candy shop. Uh-huh, and then we'll spread it out a little bit. Uh, like a barber shop. Um, we'll do like a rest... Oh, I'm not trying to... Uh, food service. <laughs> I'm not trying to spell restaurant on live camera. Uh, let's see. What else? What else? What else? Maybe do like a... Like a clothing store right right and we'll do like a like a, a grocery store yes yes um, and of course we'll do like a toy store for the children uh -huh. I'm trying to think what else there needs to be maybe like a police station police station uh -huh. Courthouse will be up there. Uh, yeah, four on that side, four on this side. I'm trying to think of <laughs> what... Oh, obvious. Uh, post office. So that the packages can arrive, of course. Post office. Um, hmm. Yeah, we're going to have to extend the road, aren't we? This is going to have to be off camera, but um, you're going to have a bank. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a necessity. Let's make some more signs. Starting to realize this does have to be spread out just a little more. That's all right, though. It's all right. This is good that we're laying this out so we'll know what to expect. So we got a bank there. What else? And I don't really want to put a gas station there. Uh, it's not really a farmer's market. It's not really Christmas themed. Uh, I'm trying to think of like mom and pop shops, you know, those tiny small business things. Oh, uh, we already got restaurants, grocery stores. Think, Tanner, think. 
If you've got any suggestions on what we should include, uh, leave them in the comments. And uh, I might include them. Uh, you know, I included the pig with the name, so you see that I do read the comments. <laughs> but yeah, if you uh, if you got any suggestions on what stores to put on the sides here for the town, let me know. And then of course we will have the courthouse, which could be moved. Could be moved. It's going to depend on what else we come up with when it comes to this. But I think that's going to do it for this episode uh yeah we got the road laid out and we've got the uh blueprints down for the town here like i said we just gotta decide uh what else we want to include in this town so if you want to let me know in the comment section below i uh i might include your ideas but yeah i'm really gonna <laughs> lean on you guys for this unless i brainstorm something off camera which i'm i'm sure i can if i need to if you guys let me down but i don't think you will <laughs> But yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. Like, comment, subscribe if you all enjoyed. I uh, hope you all did enjoy. Let's see what's a good angle of the tree here. Like that, maybe. I kind of want to get like the road, maybe, leaning up to the tree. I need a, need a good thumbnail. Man, zoom just really zooms in here, doesn't it? I guess we'll just go up close. Probably shouldn't be taking my thumbnail for this on camera. Yeah, we'll take it off camera. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. We got the road laid out. The town is ready to be built. Uh, might have to build some of these stores on a live stream because we're running out of days till Christmas. I do this every year, but it's already December 16th. This means Christmas is less than two weeks away, which is crazy to think about. But time travels on. So yeah, I hope you all did enjoy. Like, comment, subscribe if you did. Comments, suggestions, give them to me. I would love to read them. Where's my dog? We got Jeffrey the pig here. Oh. Yoink. Oink. <laughs> yeah, that's going to do it. Hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye. Oh, my goodness. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>